These are the longer drawer slides. These are the 28 inchers. I ordered these through Overstock.com. Really cheap, about 16 or 17 dollars with free shipping. They're supposed to hold up to 100 pounds. So that's 28 inches closed. And the one that's on the deck right now is 18 inches closed. <clears throat> So, I obviously have not taken these out of the plastic yet. So quite a lot longer. And <clears throat> because these are longer, I can start them over on the edge and have most of this covered. The other thing I found with these is the more collapsed they are, the less give they give. So with longer tracks I think that will greatly reduce a little bit of the play. As can be seen these cover the entire four feet of run for the CNC deck. They would actually even go out a little bit farther. I don't know who made these there's no manufacturer name on it. So some generic manufacturer, but it's they're nice. A whole lot better than I thought. And because I don't want these tracks hanging way off the end, I can achieve this 28 inch cut range, which is pretty quite large. by setting these up this way. The drawer slide will be attached from here going across. That tape right here represents about where the router bit will be. And that's kind of the start mark there. And then the full travel longwise will take us to about that stop mark there. The end is still at the end of the table and that'll be our range. And You can see that hangover so <clears throat> cutting this off here I can drummel that off then we keep it all nice and tight and neat on the CNC machine and that's a pretty good range. 28 inches Pretty large. Feels a lot better than the original ones that were on there. Really fast shipping. This took three days, took four days to get from China to Maryland. <laughs> um, ordered this through, I think it was Long's Motors on eBay and I'm curious to see what this looks like inside. So this is what we've got in the kit. We've got the computer board, really well packaged anti-static bag, a thin cable, 25 pin cable. Um, these stepper motors, these are NEMA 23s. They're substantial, a lot of weight to them. And for the board to wire in the motors, software, I think that's Mach 3, but we'll check that out. And then the power supply. And it should be a 24 volt, 24 volt, 14 amp power supply. Everything was packaged really, really well. I'm impressed. I'm very surprised how fast it got here.
I've made some alterations here. I've lowered the height of the cross section where the rotary tool will, will sit. I didn't need as much height and a little bit lower will give it some more support. And then these 18 inch drawer slides, actually these are the 28 inch drawer slides, I cut off the end of the inner track. That way I don't have a long piece of metal sticking out the side. Because this piece came out to about about here. And then off the end that was pretty far. But if you are going to cut the end of that track off, you've got to design something to hold the bearing end in. I'll show this in a minute when it's attached. You can see that's attached. And this kind of does double duty because it keeps the bearings in on that side because that inner track with the bearings was sliding out and then when this comes down to the end it catches that end stop and takes it neatly to about the end of the table so we don't have any hangover from the wood or anything else it's a pretty good run somewhere around 15 to 18 inches actually maybe closer to 20 I'll double check that nice and smooth. And these are the 28 inch door slides I'll put on. Moves really, really lightly. And I always show what works and what doesn't work. This was my plan. And the problem is, I can't get this tight enough without having a little bit of play here. And I'm not sure that this is perfectly straight. And even with a lot of tweaking, I can get some good movement in the middle. But the 2x4 must be just a little bit off or this is just a little bit off or something here and I've done a lot of a lot of adjusting but that's just not happening so I'll probably go to something else as I was thinking about the slide system I pulled out a couple old scanners that were pretty much trash in the closet I tend to hold on to a lot of these things and I think I might be able to use some slide parts from this old HP flatbed scanner. That aluminum tube or solid rod has some potential. It's a lot heavier than I thought. This is a solid piece. It's got some weight to it. And that might work over on that gantry. Still thinking about it. And here's another slider option. These four sliders came in a pack for nine dollars. They're 16 inch slides. And here's what I'm working on. These are welded at each section, but if you crack off the weld, just bang it out, then you've got some choices here. This can be built with a carriage to slide. There are bearings inside of here so it rolls really lightly. And since there are four of them here, you can make a track on two sides. So we'll see how, how we can get that going. This arrangement here does work, but it's not as fluid as I would like. It's relatively free here, but when you start adding some weight on the side, 
it does still move it might be a workable situation but it's not quite as light as I would like okay, I thought I'd do a quick update on where I am with this I'm gonna stick with this arrangement here for for the slide through here um, these tracks about eight or nine dollars um, took them apart and busted off the little wheels off of two of the other tracks and this is assembled and we've got a nice easy slide here for eight dollars and change less than nine dollars and some odds and ends and bolts that were just sitting around the router tool is just sitting in here right now pull that out and this is what we've got so real simple it's about a 16 inch 16 and a half inch run it's really solid there's really no no movement with this the way the tool is going to work is this is going to be able to slide up and down through this hole if that clears and I've still got some design ideas for for the travel for the carriage for this as far as the gaps between here and on the other side I'm going to nest that NEMA 23 in one of these sides and then the top here will be covered with a piece of plywood with an opening through here so we can make this all look kind of neat